You know, when we began looking for the next big topic, we naturally went to the R32 free cooling unit. Then that progression led us to the UK market, which has shown a certain appreciation for the R32 EWATB chiller. Ciao, and welcome to our sixth episode of Applied Talks. Time continues to move along quickly, along with the seasons, and despite the never-ending changes the world is faced with, as it speeds along, we here at Daikin Applied work diligently to keep up with and outpace those changes. Of those changes that Daikin Applied continues to make are in regard to our R32 line of products. In our past episodes, we heard about the challenges that were overcome introducing for the first time in the history of this sector, a chiller with R32. We also talked about the new R32 heat pump by Daikin. Well, today, we're going to pick up a topic we touched on a couple of episodes back and is specific to the changing of the seasons. And that is the Daikin free cooling unit based on R32 natural migration. In this episode, we've invited James Henley. James is currently serving as Product Development Manager at Daikin Applied UK. Welcome, James. How are you today? And I hope you're safe and healthy. I'm very well, thank you. And thanks for having me today with the opportunity to talk about the R32 free cooling product. Oh, for sure, for sure. You know, when we began looking for the next big topic, we naturally went to the R32 free cooling unit. Then that progression led us to the UK market, which has shown a certain appreciation for the R32 EWATB chiller. Then it was only natural that we reached out to you so you could help us understand how the UK has benefited from this new free cooling technology offered in the Daikin EWATB chiller. Well, I'm certainly happy to help and Applied Talks is a great place to do it. Well, I couldn't agree more, and I'm not just being biased. <laughs> so uh, let's, get, let's get right to it. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Okay, so can you tell us how this free cooling option based on R32 natural migration differentiates Daikin Applied from standard free cooling and what kind of benefits it can offer? And the R32 refrigerant migration technology offers Daikin Applied something really unique in the market. It's a totally naturally a natural migration free cooling solution without the need for an additional refrigerant pump or increased footprint. And with the two different free cooling levels, the light version starting free cooling from four degrees below your chill water set point and giving up to 25% free cooling, or the full version starting from just one degree below uh, your chill water set point and up to 80% free cooling capacity. The unit has the flexibility to offer free cooling on any application, whether that's traditional comfort cooling at 12.6, chill beam applications at 17.14, or even on data centers up to 20 degrees chill water leaving temperature. Hmm. Well, how did the UK market react to Daikin's first R32 chiller with this free cooling option? Uh, The UK market is really excited about the technology, firstly by the replacement of 410A refrigerant with the lower GWP R32, but also due to the free cooling technology. There is the traditional waterside free cooling technology uh, available in the market with an inline dry air cooler or a dual refrigerant um, and chill water coil. And whilst this free cooling is efficient, the system typically requires glycol content of up to 30% or a free cooling separation plate um, heat exchanger. And this reduces the overall system efficiency. Also considering the additional free cooling water coil pressure drop um, increases the pump power in the system and the increase with the dual coil uh, in the fan static pressure drop, again, increases the fan power input and just makes the water side solution slightly less uh, efficient compared to the refrigerant migration solution. 
both consultants and end users were also interested in the fact that the unit used the low GWP R32 refrigerant and utilised the refrigerant properties and differential pressure between the condenser and the evaporator to ensure no refrigerant pump was required to deliver the free cooling, offering further energy savings against existing technology solutions in the market for free cooling. Hmm. So, based on your experience, how has this solution met the needs of projects in the UK and maybe some examples um, that you might have? And do you see this option used in like specific applications? Now, one of the biggest benefits, apart from the R32 refrigerant and offering free cooling, is the unit footprint and noise level. We've recently supplied six off 685 kilowatt units to a large mixed use development in a city centre. Roof space was incredibly limited and the unit can achieve the 685 kilowatts duty with full free cooling, a mixing valve arrangement in under 6.8 metres in length. This was critical for the installation. Uh, this compact footprint together with the low noise of the scroll compressor when in full mechanical cooling mode meant there was no issue for the on-site installation to meet planning or the client requirements. And it can deliver energy efficient free cooling when the ambient temperature drops low enough. So Man. really that unit is f across the full range of applications in the UK. Man, that's pretty awesome. Um, let me ask you about regulations and incentives though. We know HVAC systems can have a big impact on the overall energy efficiency of a building. And based on this, the EU made regulations that still apply in the UK. Again, based on what you see in the UK market, is the Daikin R32 chiller with free cooling a solution that makes it easy to comply with these regulations? Yeah, well, firstly, the units are all eco design tier two compliant. So there's no issue for upcoming legislation changes and the efficiency targets required. But also in the UK, uh, the high efficiency can be calculated for site-specific conditions using the chiller selection software to give building modelling consultants a clearer picture of the building's energy use prior to installation and achieve higher energy efficiency rating for the building overall. This higher rating also reduces energy use, but also increases the lettable potential of the space once complete. So it's a real win-win for the end user. Man, that's fantastic. Um, we all know Daikin R32 technology stands out for the low GWP and for being very efficient. Is that important for green building certifications and any experience you have that stands out that you could share? Yeah, uh, well, under BRIAM requirement in the UK, uh, the use of low GWP R32 refrigerant actually achieves two credits. Uh, one for the refrigeration impact for the di direct life cycle emissions uh, per kilowatt with uh, the result of using R32 and also an additional credit for an ozone depletion of potential of zero for the refrigerant. And then a further credit is available for having fixed leaks. Uh, additionally to this, with the free cooling on the R32 range, um, you get a further six credits available um, for the free cooling function. Um, and if there's multiple chiller sites uh, with the ICM sequence controller, for multiple chiller applications, further credits available, leading to a, a massive 10 credits under BRIAM, potentially available for an R32 chiller uh, with free cooling. Wow, that's pretty cool. And that, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, so finally, as we wrap up today's episode, do you see choosing um, advanced and environmentally friendly technology as a choice that can really increase the value of a building? Absolutely. Uh, not only are we as Daikin Applied uh, pushing the highest efficiency products solutions to the market, it's also being demanded of us by consultants and end users alike. The drive to low GWP refrigerant has been clear for some time. 
and ensuring installation of efficient chillers with the low GWP refrigerants is key to the long-term sustainability approach. And the addition of the flexible free cooling options with under a three-year return of investment is an excellent product solution for the market. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Um, James, I just want to thank you again for being with us today. It was certainly a pleasure to have you here on our sixth episode of Applied Talks. And that wraps up today's episode. I certainly hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Stay safe and stay healthy.